In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to replace the Human Touch ZG 3.0 backrest actuator. It's a good idea to tip the chair gently forward onto its headrest, makes it much easier to work. First thing we're going to do is remove the four Phillips head screws that secure the junk connector junction box cover. Once the connector junction box is removed, locate the two smaller white connectors. You'll notice there's a third larger connector. We don't want to disconnect that. So disconnect the two smaller white connectors. And then we're ready to follow the two cables that come from the backrest actuator all the way to the junction box, cutting all the zip ties that secure the cables along the way. Note the location of those zip ties as you will need to replace them after installing the new actuator. Once the cables are free, we're ready to use a 5 millimeter Allen wrench to re remove the bolt on each side of the actuator shaft. And finally, we need a small flathead screwdriver to remove the C-clip that secures the hinge pin that secures the other end of the actuator. So pry that C-clip off the end of the pin with a small flathead screwdriver. And then you can just push that pin through the bracket and remove it. and you can remove the actuator from the chair. To install the new actuator then, the first thing we're going to do is line up, just sort of place the actuator into position, and then reinstall the hinge pin. to secure the one end of the actuator. Use a needle nose pliers to replace that C-clip to secure it. And next we'll reinstall those Allen screws at the other end using a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. And you may need to adjust the frame slightly to get the holes to align.
So you can install and hand tighten the screws and then finish them off with the Allen wrench. Next we need to route the two cables uh, up to the connector junction box in the way that they were routed previously. So the lowermost cable, remember, routes along the chair frame and then up along the side of the chair frame and up behind the top of the actuator. Starting down at the chair frame, then we'll start replacing zip ties to secure the cables where they were previously secured. Note he's threading the zip tie through the hole in the chair frame and then downward. Once you get up to the rear of the actuator, then note you're securing both cables at the same time to the chair frame. At this point we can install the strain relief on each of the cables into the corresponding slots to make sure we have enough cable length to reconnect the connectors and then finish securing the cables. Finally we can reconnect the connectors.
tuck all the connectors into the junction box, making sure that no wires are pinched by the cover. We can reinstall the cover and secure it with the four Phillips head screws. And finally, you can use a wire cutter to cut the excess zip tie off each of the zip ties. And we're done.